Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. Uh, I figured I'd do a short video on these air admittance valves, or inline vents as they call them. If you have a kitchen island and it has a sink in it, there's a possibility it may have one under it. And so what we're looking at is one from the 80s. I was doing some spring cleaning and found a couple of them. And I figured I would go ahead and put it to use. I've just installed a secondary laundry room. And so what this is going to do is going to act as a vent uh, for this washing machine drain. And it's outside, so it really doesn't matter if it gets stuck in the open and closed position. And so what, the way this works, it actually has a spring. I don't know if you can see it or not in there. And that spring controls this rubber flapper. And so when water starts going through this, this drain line, well, it would allow air to come in from this one here and help it drain. And so it, your sewer system has to have air in order for it to drain those pipes that you see on top of the roof. Uh, that's what they're there for, is to allow air into the system so the plumbing can drain. And so that's what they use these for, like under island sinks and so forth, where they don't have to run a, another vent, and sometimes they can't do it. But if you don't have that vent there, it doesn't necessarily mean it's defective. This means that there's a vent close enough by that can service that fixture, or the pipe is big enough to where it doesn't need it. So uh, if you start smelling uh, sewer gas around your uh, kitchen sink uh, and you have one of these, more than likely what's happened, it's gotten stuck in the open position. And I've seen some inspections where they put plastic bags around these and put rubber bands to seal it, and that's what's happened. It got stuck in the open position. Uh, but they can also get stuck in the closed position, too. So if you start having drainage problems, uh, that could be what it is. But an another problem with these is when they do get stuck closed is it will siphon out the trap. And that's what that is down below. That's a P-trap. That's a U-thing. You probably have one on your, your sink, at least you should. But it's also under showers and tubs. And so what can happen is if that gets stuck, it'll pull the water out of those trap systems and allow sewer gas to come up through those. And so if you're in a shower and start smelling sewer gas in there, well, it's this trap system underneath it got pulled dry and it could have been from a stuck air admittance valve uh, somewhere else. Now I have seen these in attics and that's where they have metal roofs or don't have to really be a metal roof and they just don't want to run vent pipes up through the roof system you know because that's every time you have a penetration that's just another place it can leak and that's not too bad a place to put these because if it does you know, get stuck in open position. Your attic should should be ventilated enough to where it won't be a problem. Uh, but the thing you have to take in consideration, you're planning on encapsulating the attic, then you probably won't have to find another way to vent it. So I hope this has been somewhat informative, guys, and thanks for taking the time to watch this, and take care.